Seed Rising are a four-piece rock band from Frederick, Maryland. I filmed an interview with them at their hometown show on October 18th at the Baltimore Soundstage. They talked about maturing from their older music and the creative process behind their new album, Awaken Color. I'm Blue, I play bass, I'm 18. I'm Mason, I'm 16, I play guitar. I'm Aiden, I'm 14, I play drums. I'm Francesca, I'm 19, and I sing. We are the youngest band signed to Road on the Records. You are. Uh, we've been touring for four months straight. We just put out a new record, uh, what was it, two weeks ago now? Yeah. Called Awakening Color. We've grown up a lot. Mm -hmm. And it really shows in the music and just kind of everything, really. I mean, from the lyrics to just the tones that we got on the record. You know, a lot of bands, what they'll do is they'll make albums that are exactly the same, like three albums that are exactly the same, and they can gain a lot of momentum and a lot of popularity from that, and then, like, they decided to change roots, not simply because they, they're they selling out, it's just because their music taste changed, and, you know, when they do it, all, the, all their fans get mad at them, and we don't want that. We just want um, to have open-minded fans, you know, because our music tastes are always changing. Like back then, 13 year old me never thought that I would be the music that I am in to now. My mm -hmm. favorite song in the form would be I Can Feel You because like that's the song with the highest, it's like, a, it's like the highest note for me. When we wrote this album, we wrote it in uh, Wizard Blood Studios, which is in LA, and all their studios have a bunch of like LED lights. And I just like it was just so beautiful to me that I went home and I bought my own lights, and I just wanted to like make the album be centered around color because everything is all usually black and like you know dark and dingy, and I wanted to bring some light into our genre. <laughs> Music or making art is everyone's interpretation of it is their own and it's different every time they see or listen to that piece of art. One of the greatest things about just kind of being human and that, and that uh, the ability to be able to perceive things differently yet everyone still comes together as a collective to appreciate it. I think that's really, really cool. Currently, Black Lives Matter protests, LGBTQ rights, and feminism are a popular topic and concern. I asked the band if they felt obligated to speak on these issues in their music. We don't necessarily feel obligated to do it, but we feel strongly for those um, certain things, and we, we, we fight for them, and we talk about them, and we raise awareness for it. You know, me being as a be, me being a woman, also brown, like a minority, a person of color, I feel like it's um, justified for me to discuss those topics. You can show people the goodness of what you believe in through love and passion and they could agree with you on that and they could simply change your views on that. We're